this is it Alpna here in this video we are going to see a theorem on closed and closure so here is the statement let ordered per xt be a metric space and e is subset of x then we have to prove that if e equals to sorry e equals to e bar if and only if e is closed so what we have to prove here e equals to e bar if and only if e is closed proof we are given that xd is a metric space and e is subset of x and we have E bar equals to E union E prime where E prime is the set of all limit points of E. Okay. So here we have to prove that E equals to E bar if and only if E is closed. Okay. To prove this E equals to E bar if and only if E is closed, we'll prove that if E equals to E bar, then E is closed and if E is closed, then E equals to E bar. Okay, if we can say these two, then we can say that e equals three bar if and only if e is closed. That is, to prove this, it is sufficient to prove that if e is equals to e bar, then e is closed. And if e is closed, then e equals to e bar. If and only if is nothing but this will happen if this happens or this will happen if this happens. That is what we are going to prove in two cases. Okay. Case 1. Suppose E equals to E bar. Okay. So now we have to do that. E is closed. Since E equals to E bar, we know that every closure We know that closure of E is always closed by known theorem, right? Every, sorry, closure of E is always closed. Since you have E equals to E bar where E bar is closure. E bar is closure and by the statement, therefore, E bar is closed since E equals to E bar, then we get E is closed. 
closed. Okay. So, if E equals to E bar, then E is closed. So, therefore, if E equals to E bar, then E is closed. Okay. Translate as some A. Now, case 2. Suppose E is closed. Okay. Here we have to prove that E equals to E bar. Since E is closed by the definition of closed set, we have every member of E is a limit point of E. By the definition of closed set, we have every limit point of E is a member of E, which means E contains all its limit points. Therefore, E contains all its limit points. That is, E bar contains in E. Okay? E bar is contained in E. And also, E is subset of E from these two. We can write it as E union E is subset of E. Okay. Since E bar, sorry, E prime is contained in E. If this is E. If E prime is contained in E. And also E is subset of itself. Then we can say that E bar, sorry, E prime union E is subset of E. Okay. This is X. And this is set E. We are saying that E prime is contained in E. Okay. Since E contains all its limit points. So limit points of E is denoted with E prime. If E prime is subset of E and E is subset of itself, E is subset of itself, then E prime union E, that is the total E contains in E. Okay. So here, E prime and E contains in E. Since, or this implies, E bar is subset of E. Since, E equals to E bar. Okay. Sorry. Since E bar equals to E union E prime. Okay, by the definition of closure. So, since E bar is contained in E, 
and also evidently is contained in E union E bar. Right? Just now we saw on the figure. Since E is contained in E union E bar, if you consider a non empty set X, then E prime and E. So this is a closure, right? E prime union E is closure. Then we can say that E is contained in E prime union E bar. E prime union E bar is nothing but the set of all elements of E prime and E. So we say that E is subset of E union E prime. If we consider these two sets, say E and E prime. The union of these two sets will be the shaded region. So from this we can say that E is subset of E union E prime. Right? Okay. So this implies E is subset of E bar. Since E bar equals to E union E prime. Okay. So consider it as 1 and this as 2. From 1 and 2, from 1 and 2, E equals to E prime. Okay, since E is subset of E bar and E bar is subset of E. That is E contained in E bar and E bar is contained in E. From these two, we can say that E equals to E bar. Okay, so therefore if E is closed, then E equals to E bar. Okay, consider it as B. From A and B, if E equals to E bar, then E is closed. And if E is closed, then E equals to E bar. From this two, we can say that E equals to E bar if and only if E is closed. From A and B, we get E equals to E bar if and only if E is Closed. Hence the theorem. So we have seen a theorem on closed set and closure. Hope you will understand. If you have any doubts, just leave your comments below. See you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.